All right, good morning, citizens. Good to see y'all. It's been a bit of a crazy run. Uh, I wanted to wait on this for a little while now. I wanted to talk to Katie first and see how she's doing, and I didn't want to dogpile it in or white knight for her. But I do want to take a, a second here to address some stuff. Blue, like 100%, man, she did you dirty on this one. We are really sorry about it. I know she's really sorry about it. She feels terrible about it. You kind of poked a mama bear at the wrong time and she gave you a bad response and you did not deserve that and you have every right to be upset. Like, 100%, bro. For reals, for reals. I, I just don't want to leave people with the impression that Dunks or Katie, you know, this is representational of her. Um, and I'm going to talk about myself a little bit. Old man Johnny Morgan. I've been, I've been with the skunks for a while now. It's going on three years. I'm staff there now, too. Just recently promoted to it, been an officer for a while, and took over Task Force Charlie about nine months ago and rebuilt that team. And it's a fantastic team. I love them to death. And Katie and the skunks were a big factor in that. You see, like nine months ago, um, I have a very autistic son. He is severely autistic, nonverbal, um, really low functioning, which is now called profoundly autistic. He represents about like the one in 1,000. If you're looking for a good reference, uh, the YouTube channel Fathering Autism, and anyone who's watching this, if you want to go over there and give them some love, Fathering Autism, Abby is absolutely representational of my son, uh, although he's more violent, a lot more violent. And he got super violent, unlike ever before. And like I, he beat the crap out of me, black eyes, muscles, he's on end. That was been some of the hardest time in my life. I was forced out of work. His mom, a week later, my, my, my ex, uh, had a heart attack and stroke on top of it, and I didn't have a lot going. My, my job dumped me. Why? I keep telling with this autistic kid around. Um, yeah, it sucked. I got a new one starting, like, literally this morning, so I'm doing this, so I'm a little on the curve. <laughs> but Blue Man, like, she's great. There is a lot of... She didn't handle this well, and she has her bad moments for sure, and this is one of those. And it's not, there's no excuse for it, right? There's no reason to treat you that way. But she's been fantastic for me, and I really appreciate the grace that, that the skunks have shown me. And, you know, I, I don't want to overstate this, but it was dicey, man. And they've been fantastic to me, and Katie's been really great to me and my channel growth. Now, I'm a little hobbyist channel, right? I just, 419 subs as of yesterday. Um, but if you do want to come and clap, and I can put this on the table, right? Like, I'd happily take you through what it's like for the skunks. The walled garden stuff, she doesn't mean it in the way that it came across. It was really poorly worded, but she's really talking about how her time is mostly reserved for internal and in, in collaborating internally. And she has been good to collaborate with. She's been a good mentor to me. She's helped me grow and learn how to kind of do some of this stuff. And I really appreciate her. And I appreciate the opportunity to contribute to the skunks a massive help and so i don't want to downplay it right like if you did treat you dirty there it was not not acceptable behavior he doesn't think so none of us think so 100 percent on the table if you want to come and hang with task force charlie see what it's like you know and this goes out to anyone maybe approach me first right old man johnny morgan i'm a little youtuber i know my channel's not big but that shouldn't matter here right um so if you want to, I can take you through it all, right? And give you some time and you put a little bit of time in and then maybe get some FaceTime with Katie when we can arrange that and stuff. But just a random person coming at her didn't go well. Doesn't excuse her behavior. You did literally nothing wrong there. You bet. don't want any, any thoughts on that side. We do appreciate you, Blue. And again, apologies. Just don't want you guys to think that this is all it is. She has some rough spots. Everyone does. Really, my only ask is approach it with a little bit of grace and understand that people have other things going on in their life and they might take it out in you unintentionally and that's what happened here there's other things that lead up to it right that some pressures and dealing with the streamers and stream sniping and stuff like that over time that's you know put a bit of bad taste in your mouth when it comes to streaming and not really streamers but just the output of it when people come and wreck our event right so we don't do a lot of that although i, I do stream my stuff and i am fully allowed to we have some, you know, general restrictive policies on it, which is really just don't cut her grass, right? Like don't release stuff before she's got it out. Or if you're going to release stuff with it, let's say it's concopoly, coordinate with her so that we all push it out at the same time, stuff like that. It's, it's not huge. It's not a big issue either. She is really fun to work with though. 
Well, he, she is a good place for a person to work with. And the events that we put together and the stuff that we put together here has been a tremendous amount of work. And, you know, I just want to say one more time, though, we, we are sorry, dude. Um, and the offer is open anytime. I'm going to come hang with Charlie, the jesters, the wild cards. You can meet the only space chaplain in existence in the verse, member of Task Force Charlie, the infamous Barbara Jacks, and his book of jesters. There's a lot of great content going on here, too. A lot of interesting stuff and a lot of very talented people within it. So please, man, maybe give us another chance if you're cool. Anyway, take care, Blue, and thank you. Thank you all for listening.